Good morning, Warren Tech students and staff. I'm Metaton Real. And I'm the Spine from the robot band Steam Powered Giraffe. And this is your Nightline News for Friday, December 2nd. The Winter Gala is happening on December 16th from 6.30 to 9.30 p.m. And the theme is Masquerade. The dress code is semi-formal and students are allowed to wear masks that cover half or less of a student's face which you're unsure what a masquerade looks like, Google it. Google it. Just, yeah, Google it. Tickets are $12 for a single person and $16 for a couple. Aw. Snacks and drinks are included in that price. You may bring a guest who attends another high school, but must complete a guest permission slip and hand it in to Miss May by December 9th. Tickets for tech students will be sold until Thursday, December 15th, but remember, if you're bringing an outside guest, you must pers pers purchase your ticket and return the permission slip by the 9th. The 14th Annual PTSA Craft Show is tomorrow, Saturday, December 3rd, from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. Student volunteers are needed throughout the day. You can also help set up Friday from 3 p.m. to 5 p.m. You would help tape the floors, outline spaces for the crafters' tables, and crafters begin to arrive at 5.30, and some need help getting items into the school to their designated spot. Pizza is available for all volunteers. You must have transportation home. The annual Stuff the Stocking Toy Drive is now underway. Donate new unwrapped toys for children in need to Warren and Sussex counties. Bring all donations to the front entrance and place them under the tree. Toys are needed for children of all ages, from newborn to teen. The drive will end Monday, December 12th, so don't wait. The Optical Academy event scheduled for December 7th has been canceled. Unfortunately, not enough people registered for the event. The Warren Tech Education Association hopes to try and bring Optical Academy back in the spring. And now we go to Casey with Casey's Fun Facts. Hey, it's me. I'm taking over the segment this week. Welcome to this very special edition of... Did you know, when trying to grab attention from record label executives, Third Eye Blind would have a piñata over a mosh pit at early shows, which it would have, when broken open, live crickets fall out of it. This led to the band getting attention from Electra Records. Bowling for Soup's 1985 was originally performed by the band SR71, but only exclusively in Japan. The band would release their own version months later, after Mitch Allen presented the song to Jarrett Reddick, who changed the lyrics to make it more Bowling for Soup-ish. The master tapes for what would have been Green Day's Cigarettes and Valentines were mysteriously stolen as it was nearly finished. Instead of re-recording it all, the band decided to start from scratch, which led to the creation of American Idiot. Simple Plan coined their name at the very last minute after watching the movie A Simple Plan. And that's all for this week! Hope you learned something! If not, good for you! See you next time! And that's all the time we have for today. I'm the real Metaton. And I'm the spine. And one, two, one, two, three. Have, Have a great, great day, day Warren Tech. Tech. Uh, well, sure. When you pick fights with bears, uh, I would not advise that. He'll punch a ferocious beast. No. That's how much he cares.